you ever do something so many times that you just get sick of redoing it and redoing it and you feel like you can't make a good enough impact, like your video is not good enough? Well, that's today. I've uh, I've redone this video like God knows how many times. I've, I've tried to figure out a script. I've tried to do X, Y, and Z. I just, I can't figure it out. So, uh, I'm, I'm deciding to do Heath Ledger's The Joker here. Although, as everyone knows, I want to play as Harley Quinn just because Harley Quinn is now the new Joker in my eyes in this game. Because I play as a female character and, you know, Harley Quinn always likes to, you know, the Joker's her man or whatever. But she's done a little spinoff of her own. So as you can see here, I'm, I'm trying to build the perfect Harley Quinn, you know, her man. The, the Joker's been a dick. She remarries, has a kid, moves on, and then Fallout happens. I don't know. I decided to just rock and roll. I gave her some cool little dreadlocks there. Give her some purple hair because uh, I thought purple would be better. Like I said, this is Heath Ledger's Joker. You can see my stats there. Charisma is 9 just because I, th I feel like Harley Quinn can be a charismatic character. I mean, she did... Um, she did romance oh, Poison Ivy there for a bit in her new comic that that we're kind of playing off of. As well, too, was it Blood for a little bit? I don't know why that happened. I, I love the glitches that happened in Fallout 4. I did end up using a bunch of uh, a bunch of mods that didn't really or that conflicted with a bunch of other mods. And if you'll notice in the upper right hand corner, you'll, you'll kind of notice that I uh, I changed locations quite a bit. I have a bad habit of moving like. I don't know what it is. I just, I have to move around. Mama Murphy pissed me off there. Uh, so a little bit about the re the way that I play through this playthrough is is kind of uh, different. So number one, I know you can get the Joker's like garments through a, uh, through a mod. I'm not going to download a mod for a single pair of clothing. I think that's ridiculous. So I just use the UCO to kind of adjust what I thought Elder Maxon's coat would look like for the Joker. Um, and the reason why I have that is just simply because, uh, let's see here, if I went with more Joker-esque style clothes or what I thought Harley Quinn would wear, that was interesting. A uh, raider uh, nuked me out of nowhere, like I didn't even see it coming. If I went with anything other than that, I would basically have zero armor to begin with because when I play as a character, I really try to stick as true to the character as I can. Um, as well, too, as it provides a little bit of armor. I was a sarcastic throughout the entire thing just because i felt like that's what harley quinn would do as well too is if you watch the comics i'm pretty sure she gets called uh, a right away too in, in the comic and i thought that was kind of interesting so uh i also visited a couple other vaults because as a vault dweller i think harley would have visited some other vaults i don't know it just it was what I thought I'd do. And then an, uh, just an interesting thing here is that I told the kid to go away because, like I said, I, I'm kind of sarcastic like that. Uh, uh, he's wearing Vault 111, whereas all the adults are wearing uh, 81. But back to back to what we were talking about before. So uh, I'm pretty sure he uses a fully automatic Glock in, his, in the movie. He uses a shotgun, an RPG as well. Well, I mean, he doesn't really use a shotgun, but he uh, he also uses an RPG and then some kind of uh, machine gun. I did end up later on saying I can kind of use one specific gun. I don't really show me using it because I don't I didn't use it all that often. Found uh, Aaron's kitty cat. Told her to go back. I did exploit a child. Um, you know, Aaron was like, oh, I can give you this uh, teddy bear and then I can give you this special locket, you know, because my charisma was so high. And I was like, yeah, I could do that. And then I cured Aaron. I, I cured the kid of whatever. I, I, I brought Kiri along with me and Kiri kind of became my girlfriend. Talked to Bobby a little bit about uh, how he, you know, should get kicked out and just kind of go into the wasteland because he's a stupid junkie. And then it was interesting because this was with the f one of one of the. F Two, one of two major glitches I found. I told um, I told his sister here. I was like, "Hey, come work for me." And then Tina didn't. I just I, I could get the charisma check, and then she'd just be like, "Oh, that sounds weird," and then just sit there. I told Rex he was an idiot because I found uh, found Strong up in the tower, and then I told uh, I told Strong that I'd give him some armor, and then I basically just left him at the base of the tower because I didn't. I didn't do anything. I just let him. I left him there. I just didn't care. Uh, I had some exploding burrits on the uh, the shoot guns here, and it was it was cool for a little bit. But then, like the reloading of the shotgun got weird because, like, if I'd fire one shot from the shotgun, I would have to reload all eight rounds, and it made no sense. Uh, in tradition, I killed Swan here. As you can see there, I, I killed him once, and I started to have to reload. Got found Nick Valentino. Uh, did what I needed to do. 
I tried to steal something from the vault right here, and then they just attacked me on site, which was weird because I wanted to uh, I wanted to steal some stuff. But I reloaded in. I uh, told Darla that she needed to uh, leave the man because, you know, uh, men are evil. Because that's kind of how Harley Quinn is, right, Mio? She's always kind of weird with men. And I'm just now noticing that the dreads on my hair look weird with the reshaded textures and the colors. Um, and then I uh, glitched the Matrix here by taking a psycho jet and blowing up Skinny Malone and all of his goons there. And as you can see, I glitched the whole Matrix there. I did realize that uh, exploding Burrits uh, with a shotgun is probably not the best way to go. Geneva is truly a dumb blonde. Um, I'm literally unlocking her desk right next to her, and she doesn't even notice. You'll notice something about the, uh, the, uh, the idiot savant uh, perk there. I'm going to tell you that it's a Kawi mod. I, I, I tried a couple of Kawi mods. I'm going to tell you this right meow. Um, I don't even feel safe putting them up here. It's a star moaning pretty much. And there's like three different versions of the star sounds. Uh, you can get kind of like a, a soft little gentle, uh, moan. You can get a loud moan and then you can just get an obnoxiously over the top moan. Uh, yeah, no, not about that. Uh, like I'm, I'm pretty okay with posting some stuff up on, on the internet, but uh, I don't need my first copyright strike. And then I had an interesting thing come up where a gentleman from Reddit uh, kind of helped a gentleman, a male, non-binary. I don't know who this person is. Um, but this, pr uh, oh yeah, that's right. You can't attack Finn until like he attacks you first, which is weird. And so uh, flamethrower or whatever Hancock's girlfriend sidekick is pissed me off. Um, but, uh, oh, this was another another cool little hack that I found here. Uh, not hack, but this is a good way to level up. Uh, if you're like me, you can level up really fast. Save all the meats and stuff that you get off of somebody. You can definitely uh, craft a bunch of things. It's really good for the idiot savant perk, especially on level 2. Uh, turn carry into a synth, which was kind of cool because the Brotherhood of Steel didn't mention a damn thing about synths, uh, even though Kiri was one. But anyways, so I asked a Redditor, I was like, hey, how can I play through as the Heath Ledger's the Joker onto my playthrough? And uh, what he ended up saying is said he said, go ahead and join the Brotherhood of Steel. That way, the Brotherhood of Steel, as the Brotherhood of Steel, you can go ahead and knock out the railroad. You can kill the Institute. Then align yourself with the Minutemen. Go ahead and destroy the Brotherhood of Steel through the minute with the uh, with the Minutemen. Then what you do is you go ahead and do the Nuka Cola DC uh, uh, DLC. Run through that take over all the cities, take over everything like that. And then when you go ahead and take care of everything, all you have to do then is uh, do the Raider restart. And not only have you then destroyed the Minutemen, but then you've also destroyed all the Raiders as well too. Now, something I found out is that uh, if somebody doesn't like you, like K198 does here, uh, she got a little pissed off at me as I was trying to help her out with some things. So I decided to blow her away because, you know, go f yourself, K198 or whatever your name is. But anyways, um... So one thing I found out is that uh, I don't want to do all that. <laughs> I don't want to do all that. Oh, yeah, her name was Fahrenheit because I forgot. Uh, so Fahrenheit pissed me off early in the game, so I decided to hide with Bobby No-Nos. I don't, uh, and that was the one and only time Kiri didn't like that I did something. Um, and so not, not that I have anything against playing through all of that. And this was me destroying the, the, the railroad beforehand. But not only did I not want to do all of that nonsense, but I just I like I just want to beat the vanilla game. Like I tried, I played through the Raider DLC for a mini mini little bit, and this is where my game conflicts with a couple of the mods whenever I try to save. So you'll see me try to fix that. Um, it it happened like for three hours, and I had to fix it. Like it took me a day to fix it. But like I'm not all about that life. Like I don't have forty five. I don't have you know five five days to play through everything and sift through everything. So what I ended up doing was I ended up just destroying everybody but the Minutemen because in Heath Ledger's The Joker, what happens is he starts out small, like the Minutemen. There's, you know, you and Preston Garvey, and then all of a sudden he grows it into basically the new Mafia. I uh, <clears throat> I accidentally attacked him here for, for some... I don't know why I clicked the button. I may have sneezed or some something dumb, but then I had to reload and get back in and, and do it. And it's weird because Dance doesn't like you for doing this next part. Like, he hates when you turn this on. It's negative 3.5%. Why would Dance hate you if he's a part of the Brotherhood of Steel? I don't get... Like, I don't understand why he hates you for following Elder Maxon's orders, but that's some lore I could probably dive into in a little bit. 
But yeah, like, dude, I, I don't have that much time. I just don't. I, you know, a lot of my playthroughs usually take about 12 to 15 hours. It takes me about two or three days to film, to film everything, to edit everything and kind of get it back up. I mean, in all reality, it takes me about 12 to 12 to 20 hours to beat a game just because usually I, I, I found myself like you saw there I was level 28. I find myself leveling up a lot just simply because it's a lot easier to play through. You unlock more things and you're not just spe like I did the uh, if you want to go back and watch me level up and have no perks, no nothing, no anything, just level one trying my damnedest. That sucked. I never want to do that again ever like that was that was trash. Like that was a playthrough that that was hard. Like I do not, I did not enjoy that playthrough. That playthrough sucked. Um, but yeah, so like I just I feel like beating the vanilla game kind of as it is with even some extra side quests or whatever. Uh, as you can see here, the hair mod uh, kind of messed with Father's beard. He's got a little bit of a rodeo patch. Well, not even a rodeo patch, but he's got a pretty hick uh, patch there. I decided to turn off the synths for some reason. I felt like I wanted to, and then I just popped Father in the Dome because why not? Um, but uh, so I wanted to talk about the glitch for a quick second. When I was having the save glitch, found out that uh, with my mods, I was trying to do something fancy here. I thought I, I thought I was, I thought I was on camera and I was clicking my mouse button, but I forgot I stopped doing the face cam. But uh, I, I actually had to delete. I had to remove all my mods and then save the game without any of the mods on and then return on all the mods. And I, I turned Preston Garvey into a mailman because he's always delivering you them quests. I felt like Harley could technically wear a mask. I don't know. I felt like it was appropriate. Like, she, you know, she puts on that heavy makeup, and I really couldn't find the right Joker mask. And a lot of the mods, uh, it just like at, at one point in time, I was just like, ah, forget it. So I turned Preston Garvey into a uh, the mailman again because, like I said, he hands out quests like mail like you get mail all, like you know junk mail so i turned him into a mailman i don't know it was dumb um but yeah so uh we started the whole thing codsworth sang a little song oh i don't know if i mentioned it earlier but codsworth will call you miss joker which is really kind of cool i looked through the whole list of names he'll call you and, and then i uh i started the um I started the, 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 the thing, and then it's kind of cool because the Brotherhood of Steel will attack the Brotherhood of Steel will attack you. One thing I find weird is that when you destroy a faction, the faction kind of comes back with a vengeance a little bit to kill you. Like uh, I had a ridder, I had a settlement that was like, wow, the Brotherhood of Steel are attacking blah 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 blah. I was like, wait, I didn't I destroy the Brotherhood of Steel? So I don't know. That was weird. And then like it's it you know, you'll run into random synths after the institute is destroyed. That they're still it's just I don't know. I find it kind of weird that after somebody is something is destroyed, they're still technically out there. And Preston will hand you, you know, he'll mail you another job that you have to do. He's like, kill this courser here, or kill that courser there. And it's like, how many fucking courses did they have? But whatever uh so oh yeah if you try to kill liberty prime he has like 500 million hp and it's like impossible to kill him i tried i cheated i cheated my brains out to try to even hurt him a little bit and after about a half hour of, of trying to hurt him even a little bit that's yeah uh so this is kind of a cool little uh snippet here i i, I forgot i was recording myself and uh as you can see like i said i changed locations uh in the last like week and a half i've changed my location four different times now um I, I'm even in a brand new location. I think the location I'm in right now is going to work out a thousand times better for work as well as the parrots as well as just everything else. Uh, so this is how you eat a donut as a gamer just so you don't get everything sprinkled in there. Um, the only reason, like I said, why I didn't play the way that the Redditor answered my call on is because I felt like it was a little unnecessary to beat the game that in depth for a video. Like, I think it'd be cool, but this was the video that I was currently working on. Like, I have two or three other ones in the works. I just didn't want to restart and jump 12 hours into a game when I had an episode finished. So, Quinn the Potato, thank you for uh, giving me advice. Like I said, I felt it would just have taken far too long to beat the game. You can go ahead and pause it. It's going to be up on the screen for a, lo a little while now. But uh, I, I want to say thank you for listening to my episodes. Thank you for listening to my voice rant. If you like the, uh, if you like anything, you can email me. You can leave a comment, like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. I'm honestly just doing this for the fun of it. So I hope you guys had a great rest of your day. I love all your faces, and I'll see you next time.